Hello, my friend. My name is Anton from Connect.com, and we are happy to announce you the second version, dated version of our network automation training. We have successfully conducted a couple of sessions in the previous year and this year, and based on their feedback from the attendees and based on their events or trends that are happening in the industry these days, we updated the consent roughly by the 30%. Let's take a look what are the topics that are included in our training these days. So, uh, the training covers all possible areas about the network automation. Everything that you could imagine and everything that you need, which are verified by experience of us, by the experience of our clients and customers, you could find on this slide. And it's exactly what we are learning you in this training. So we start with the infrastructure because before we start speaking about any sort of automation, we need to understand what are the environment we are working in. So infrastructure means for us the Linux. We teach you how to install the Linux, how to configure, how to admin the Linux. On top comes the layers of their virtualization and uh, their technologies used to emulate the network. So we are speaking about the VM. We don't speak about any fancy uh, environment such as if they are cool, but from our opinion, they are very useful for learning the technologies. And until on the automation, you need to understand the Linux and all the underlying things with the VM. It also covers the dockers, the containers, the uh, de facto standard architecture for all the microservices to explain how the network is working there and where they are used in the network automation world from the SDN perspective, from the perspective of their um, application. Then we focus on the data modeling. Jan is all about the network automation. Definitely uh, know that you have heard about the end, but we explain how does it work, how does structure looks like, what are the building blocks, and we even teach you how you can write your own end models for whatever service application we are developing. We also do covers all the possible data formats such as XML, JSON, YAML, and Protobuf. Protobuf in particular is something coming in the advanced training which was not covered previously. Uh, all these formats are by various means used in the network automation, in management of the network, in distribution of the data between various applications. We call all the interfaces where these data formats are used, such as SSH, NetConf, REST API, and JNMI. JNMI, again, is something coming new in the training what was not previously, but uh, everything, as you can see there, all interfaces that are existing these days, which are somehow related to the network management and network automation, you can find in our courses. Our courses is not vendor dependent and not vendor backed. That is why we're covering various vendors. We cover Cisco. Obviously, Cisco has created a very nice certification, Cisco DevNet, for the developers, and our training could boost your preparation for all the certificates starting from associate up to the professional level. But it is not only the Cisco. We also cover the usage of the mentioned protocols such as NetConference, TAP agent, my in-conduction means Nokia, Arista, Cumulus. So as you can see, we cover both the well-established vendors and the service provider and data center field and also newcomers and new emerging vendors. That's why this mix is unique. You cannot find it anywhere. You can find it right only with us. Covering the vendors, we also focus in a lot part of our training on the various programming languages. So we cover de facto the most popular programming languages for the network automation these days, uh, such as a Python. We cover Jinja, one of the most um, powerful templating languages that is used in the Python that also could be used in, uh, in Ansible. We also cover in Bash. Despite being all this language is successfully used for the sysadmins of Linux for long, long years and a lot of still network technologies could benefit from Bash. So we cover this toolkit. Obviously we cover the Ansible itself, one of the most popular management, configuration management tools that exist in the network automation world these days. Probably it is the most um, popular and the most widely used compared to other configuration management tools such as SaltStack or Chip. And uh, all these things that not are happening out of sight of the context, they all happening in the context of the network automation tasks. And therefore, we supply you with the knowledge and uh, the experience of working with the best developer tools available for the network automation, such as Postman, VS Code, Huyan, and Git. From the structure of the course, it consists out of 10 sessions, but 
as we have right now more materials that is was previous the sessions are also longer each session takes four and a half hours including two small breaks so that you could take some refreshment so these sessions are conducted on the weekend on saturday we have a group in the u.s time we have a group in the uh, EMEA time so that you can find your funding schedule. All the live sessions provided in the live interaction, the same experience like you could have talking to the webinars, you could ask your question, all the ad hoc scenarios that you have in your mind, we could cover in our lab, assuming that they are somehow related to the automation and they are related to the vendors that we are covering. All the sessions that we have conducted are recorded and you have access to the session during the cross duration and afterwards. This is something that we uh, believe you could use as a reference later on where you need to refresh something in mind or you start working the project and uh, require some more details that you might have forgotten. This is what you would have. Their sessions are followed with the labs we have so far the 15 labs and this amount is ever growing. The labs are capable of absolutely various technologies from the writing your young models, writing their documentation into their XML, JSON, protobuf, working with data format, working with data format using various programming language such as Python, using them in Ansible, working with the Ansible in Python and uh, by themselves creating the code, really working with the automation so you could feel it, you could breathe it, you could implement it. And we also provide you support if you have some troubles with some topics, we could allocate uh, some hours with you and discuss the topics that you experience uh, the most problems or give you help in hand with the creation of the lab and so on. And obviously, once the training is over, we are not saying just farewell, we are supporting you further in your projects. You're always welcome to come with the questions and we will do our best to help you. To show you a bit how it's happening behind the hood, I'll briefly show you one of the lab that we are conducting with the customers, with the uh, students in our training. The lab is dedicated to the management of the network devices using the NetConf and um, YAN data models with the Python. We explain you how you could uh, write the basic or sometimes not very basic Python code, which would include working with multiple files, splitting your code with uh, the um, models, splitting your code into the classes and methods and the properties and all these things that you might have heard but don't understand how this is working. It doesn't matter. You don't need to have any knowledge about the Python instantly or whatever before you join our course. We have, if you like, uh, some additional materials on our webpage which are available for you even right now without any charges basic Python introduction course. So this knowledge would be helpful, but again, they are not mandatory. So we, in this example, creates a Python code which uses a NetConf model to manage the network elements. Network elements, again, they are coming from their different uh, vendors. We briefly show you the uh, inventory file used. And um, as you might see, we also contains these various vendors and we also explain you not only how to write the code we explain you how you could properly structure your folders how you structure the file how you create the production ready in production grade code so briefly showing how this uh, code is looking like under the hood we have a, a bunch of the models created and put into the classes, uh, you see the, it looks a bit heavy, perhaps it's not a bit, perhaps it is heavy, but all these things we're explaining to you how to structure, what are the meaning classes, what are the meaning properties and uh, methods, and how are these things interrelated to each other. And uh, obviously we also not only explain you line by line how you create code and how to benefit from them, we also show you how this code can work in the real environment, you see the output we are collecting from Cisco, from Arista, from Nokia, from various vendors, the same models we speak about, the young models that are vendor native, we speak about the data models that are open, such as open config. So we are very, as you could hear, engaged about our training, we really uh, like it and we would like 
to invite you to the training. The next training is starting in the beginning of the summer. Follow our webpage, follow our blog, and uh, stay tuned. We wish you all the best. We wish you stay safe during the COVID times and hope to see you at our training. Thank you, my friend. Goodbye.